Hello, this is Raziel Cohen with NDFTraining.com, and today we're going to speak about the Myopta Optica 6 1 to 6 by 24. Now, this is a very cool LPVO that you might not have seen or heard about before, and it actually has a lot of really great features that compete with other very expensive optics on the market with similar features to this one. So what this is, is it's from a company called Meopta. Now, the way I heard about them is that this optic was sent to me by opticsforce.com, and they said that this optic is not really getting as much credit as it deserves for the amount of features that it packs for the price. So this comes in for, at the time that I'm making this video, at approximately $400, but the glass quality and the features are far beyond that price tag. It's competing right now with optics that are easily in the $3,000 range. I say that specifically to start off with the glass. So uh, to my knowledge, Meopta is at the core a glass company. So the glass in this optic is really, really, really clean. I actually put this side by side with an optic that is at a $3,000 price tag and asked someone with very little knowledge on firearms and optics in general to look through both of them and tell me what they think in regards to quality. And what it came out to be, is that they couldn't see a dramatic difference between this one and the more expensive optic, which alone should be something that is very, very impressive. This optic has a lot of really great features, again, for the price tag, and it's something that I think a lot of people might be much more interested in to get into like the low power variable optic world if they realize that there were options like this that were available on the market. So to just back up a little bit, this is the Meopta Optica 6. It is a one to six by 24 first focal plane optic. So that's another big um, a, a ticket right there is the fact that I was looking for a first focal plane LPVO, but the options that were available on the market were either extremely expensive or more commonly, they only come in second focal plane. And I wanted to really have particularly a first focal plane because that's something I was used to. Um, and that's something that I was able to find in this optic. The turrets on this are very, very nice and tactile. One click in these optics is, is, a, is a half MOA, which may be a little bit not as great as other options, meaning as like quarter MOA, which is available on others. But for most people and their use, this is going to be perfectly efficient. It's very tactile and very audible and you're able to really hear, I'm gonna like pause like talking for a second so you can maybe hear those clicks. So you'd really be able to hear the audio, the, the audible sound of the clicking, so it's really guaranteed that you know it. It also has a zero stop, so once you get to the point that you're comfortable with the zero, you just unscrew this cap on top, you could remove it, you put it back on top and really get it back to the zero that you need it to be, screw it back on and that's literally it. It's really that simple to be able to keep it zeroed and do it properly. On the left side of the optic, there are options for um, different um, illuminated reticles that are going to be on the inside. This optic has a huge amount of different options when it comes to reticle styles that you could choose from. Um, this one is a standard kind of crosshair style that you're able to get. Again, they do have a lot of other options that are available. The cool thing about the illumination is again, like other more expensive optics, between each option of light that you're able to choose is an off switch. So if you know that you're going to be running this during the daytime a lot, you can just keep it between the off switch of the six and then you just flip it to the six when you want and you get full daylight uh, brightness availability. Now, what really got me excited about this optic is that you really are able to use it like a red dot as well as an LPVO. What that means is that the red dot in there is very visible to be able to see during the day and it was very easy to pick up when I was at the range and shooting out white targets with like different colored backgrounds to make it usually a little bit more difficult. And it actually worked very well. So being able to use a kind of a, a standard red dot was something that was very capable for me to be able to do. At the same time, when I went to the 100 yard line, you just pull up that magnification to full magnification. You could turn off the red dot if that's something that's gonna bother your the, the viewing of your optic. And then you could just use it as a standard crosshair scope, um, which again, I thought was really, really incredible. So. Just as an overview, this is a very interesting optic that I think is worth looking into because again, it comes with a lot of great features for the price that make it very worth its while. It also comes, I'm gonna do a zoom in on this, is that the option to be able to have different holes of where you want the throw lever to be. So this has a very aggressive textured area where it has a throw lever to be able to twist with your fingers, but also it comes with this little attachment that you're able to screw into any area that you choose to be able to make that adjustment work for you. Um, it also has obviously the, the rare focal plane area where you're able to adjust the optic straight to your eye. And something else I wanna point out about this that I thought was very worth mentioning is that unlike other optics I've tried on the, in the past with regard to the 1X, 
Usually when it says 1x, it's not actually 1x. It's not gonna be as clear as if you have both eyes open to be able to see and look like a seamless transition. However, this was really close. So there's another optic that I have that I'm going to do a review on in the future that the 1x capabilities were not as good as this one. And again, that's coming from an optic that's significantly more expensive than this optic. So the 1x capabilities on this, if you're doing kind of like CQB work and you're just walking around the house, you'll be able to get a much better view of what's happening around you as opposed to the other optic I was trying out where since it's slightly distorted and not as like real to life, you can almost get like a headache walking around because you see a slight distortion in your shooting eye. The Also, the eye relief on this is actually pretty amazing where I had to mount it all the way up so you could really have a standard cheek weld while being able to use this optic and it works out really nicely. Um, the weight on this optic is also not that bad at all. Again, in comparison to other ones that are available in the market within the one to six category, it works out well. The only thing I would change on this is again, I've now become much more of a fan of the uh, 193 risers. So for example, from Reptilia Core or scalar works that offer 193 height optics. I think that would be something that's very beneficial, especially to LPVOs. So I prefer that, but even with that being on the standard, I have an A2 uh, front sight on this and it doesn't impede the viewing of it that much because the view of this is actually pretty wide and actually very nice. So this is kind of just an initial impressions, but I wanted to give credit to this optic that for the price point and for people who have used much more expensive optics on the market, the glass clarity, the tactile function, the red dot capability, the magnification with a throw lever is this is all a really nice package for a really good price that I think might be worth at least checking out. This is Raziel Cohen with NDFtraining.com. Thank you for watching.